We are back for our final playoff run with the Colorado Avalanche with TJ. We are up against the St. Louis Blues. Feels like deja vu. And let's go ahead and view the lines, find out what our team is made up of. We don't have any X factors, I don't think. Never mind, we got Slater, who is loaded with abilities. But we do have other abilities on forward. And in net, we have an X factor as well. Thank you very much. But anyway, we got Turbo, Turcotte, and Keller. Beautiful first line. Next up, we have Landy, Shifley, and Verona. And then our bottom six is just a thing of beauty. We are a deep squad. Defensively, it's basically the same situation. We have depth. And in net, we do not have depth. Because Ian is the backup. And if I recall correctly, he played like poo. So... It's basically TJ or nothing. I'm still not 100% sure what I want to do after this. A player be a pro is sort of at the top of my list at the moment, but I might even just not do it for a while. We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, let's get this series underway. It is the second place Colorado Avalanche up against the 12th place St. Louis Blues. Fire me up. Hopefully they give us a good score to jump into here. But we're going to find out in two short period simulations. Boom, it is 3-1... That's not a good start at all, but maybe, hear me out, we have a bounce back second period. No, we don't. It is an absolute disgrace. I am simming the whole game. Really? Imagine getting first rounded in our final year, and I don't care. If we get first rounded, it's done. It doesn't matter. What I think I will do, though, is after we're done with this year, I'm going to go ahead and do one more video that is just the simulation of the rest of TJ's career, so we don't just leave it here. And that way, we get up to TJ's retirement. Also, the fact that it is now spring means that birds are outside and they will not zip it. I feel like I have a new James on my hands. Can we please do a little bit better? I don't even ask for a lot. I just want a little bit better. First period. Okay, one nothing. That is better than 3-1. So technically, they listened. Second period. What is wrong with us? We are fighting from behind here. Haven't scored yet in this game. Series is already 1-0 St. Louis. We really, really have to get something generated quick here. If we go down 2-0 in this series, St. Louis is not going to let their foot off the gas. Ivan Barbashev, he's up there for hits, boy. Seven whole hits in the playoffs, which I mean, to be fair, this is only the second game. Kind of impressive. Someone help this man. 1-5, get in there. Someone else get in there. All right, well... It's been a fun run, guys, but we are getting first rounded. Clearly, nobody on this team wants to win. In fact, there's even a chance that this is the last episode because I simmed that first game in its entirety, which means we're going to play three more. So technically, we could lose all three and get swept. I'm just saying that that is a possibility. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it could. Come on, Marka Shifley. Ooh, that could have been way worse, but he sort of avoided disaster there, I think. I don't really know what went down, but it looked like he was about to get hit real hard. And then he got hit, and it was sort of like underwhelming, but he still went down, so very confusing. Jake DeBrusque puts one in, and I will go for it. Pass it along the boards there over to Landy. Nice. Great passing. That was a huge breakout. And now Copper's headed the other way. Gets by his demon. What a save. Get out of here. All right, someone charge the net. Let's go, Shifley. Barry's one on the blocker. He must have heard me. <laughs> We're going to send someone after him to be a, a crease crasher. And he lets one easy go in here. Mark Shifley walks into the slot. Let's it go. do drag release. And it goes just by the blocker. It's a one goal game. So we are right back in this thing. I think we could do it. Actually, let me revise that a little bit and say I know we can do it. So let's do it. New hook gains the line. You've got Chucky in the middle. Did that hit the post or did he save that? Either way, you have got to be kidding me. We are all over this team right now and we just can't get it done. Over to you. Boom. Why'd I go around the net that way? I don't know. Awful decision. Let's go turbo. Let's not go. Big save. I thought he was going to go for the pass there. And to be honest, I would have been screwed if he did because I had to commit to one or the other. And I took the shot, and thankfully, he did in fact shoot it. If he went for the pass, though, it was GG, no re, and we were going to be down 2 nothing in this series. Because I do not envision the lads getting two more goals. Maybe one more goal, and an overtime goal. 
Hello? What a save. I guess I can't really hear it anymore because of the headphones, but the bird is still going at it out there. So close. We're getting great chances and we can't score. Their goaltender is the only reason they're still winning this game. And I will not have any other opinion heard. Sergachev just destroyed me. I thought I had him. Thought I marked my man. But no. He still found a way to bury it. Okay, so we're down 2 nothing in this series. Not where we want to be at all. But still not over. Oh, we lost both games at home too. That is a rough go. I feel like the whole team's given up. Nobody cares anymore. We went from being a President's Trophy candidate to giving it up on purpose because the President's Trophy curse, obviously, otherwise we would have won it. And then we're doing this. What an absolute embarrassment. They only had 29 shots too. I mean, I guess to be fair, 29 shots, 3 goals, that's not awful. He went 5-hole on me too. I was wondering where it went in. And I just couldn't build up the nerve to go watch the replay. Alright, well... We are in one. Listen, I want you focused. Push your limits and rally the team. We can win this and bring the cup home. Well, that is quite the statement from you, sir. But I don't have any other choice other than to, to go with storyline, so I guess I will. What is with this? What does this high form score mean? Can someone please tell me? It's not enough that we're down 2 nothing in this series. Now I have to go talk to the media? What a joke. An absolute joke. What do you want from me? You're down in the series. Well, thank you. <laughs> How'd you find that out? I could be one of the only ones that has this opinion. I'm not sure. But I think the intermission interviews are stupid. We get the same generic answer every time. Post-game interviews, you know, there's a chance in there to have something, at least. Like, this will be really old by the time this video's out, but... Got a gem from Samsonov when they asked him how Bobrovsky played. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He used, you know, some more profanity... But, great answer. Means he cares and he wants to win. He doesn't care how the other goalie's playing. He cares how he's playing. But the intermission interviews, I've just had enough of. Honestly. Knock it off. Hey, TJ, you guys are doing great in that first period. What do you think you gotta do to maintain this lead? Yeah, you know, we just gotta keep up the pressure. Get pucks deep. Play our game. Uh, and uh, the, the goals will come to us. Sick interview. Thanks for that. Alright, rant over. <laughs> it's not helping here that we're down 2 nothing in this series. The question now becomes, can we make it 2-1? Because if we go down 3-0, that is devastating. But 2-1 does not look bad at all. First period. We're getting swept. Yeah, this is an absolute joke. We need three goals. Spoiler alert, it's not gonna happen. But maybe we could try to bring this one close. It's going to be a 3 nothing series. And honestly, I don't see us being able to fight back into this one. Maybe, but I don't see it. Alright, you know what? Let's try to be positive here. Colorado, let's go. Three goals, that's a tall task. But can we beat St. Louis four games in a row? Yeah, I think we can. It wouldn't be the first time a reverse sweep happened, and it certainly won't be the last. Now I see why the simulation had us getting dummied, because we are actually getting dummied as well in the real gameplay here. It's not even close. I just want to know what makes them so good. What do the St. Louis Blues have that we don't have? Big save? Ooh, he just got hit up high there too, and went for revenge. No scrap in the corner, as if. Game's unrealistic. What a save again! This goaltender is a wall. I think we just ran into a better team here. Even though they finished 12th and we were second, they're outplaying us in every way imaginable. I just thought of a draft idea, and to be honest, I don't know if it would be possible. Well, it would be possible, but the team would be complete cheeks, I think. Maybe not, so... Could be worth a try. I was gonna say that I can't draft players that have played in the CHL. So not even just the OHL. They can't have played in the W, the Q, or the O. What are we doing? Barbashev is one against our three. And somehow... What is going on? This team has given up. You know what? I'm really starting to wish that the coach did trade me. I'm saying it. Again... The series is not over after this game. We can still move on by a miraculous reverse sweep. 
but the possibility is still there. Great hit. I can't even get into this one, you know? Like, it's 5-2. And we have generated next to nothing. Actually, now that I think about it, with spring coming, I sometimes get seasonal allergies. I wonder if that's gonna happen again this year, because it's kind of hit or miss. I remember there would be some times in older videos where I'd basically be crying. Because I couldn't stop sneezing and I'd have to constantly mute the mic. I wonder if that is part of the reason I started to do these cut commentaries. I mean, I always like the format better anyway. Sure, just rub it in, why don't you, Barbashev? Go ahead, I don't care. Oh yeah? Big save on the blocky. St. Louis still putting up the pressure. 30 seconds left, they're up by four. This might be the end of old TJ, guys. Give me one last save. Okay, that doesn't really count, but I'll allow it. That was the longest one second ever. The crowd went one and I swear there was like eight more minutes before the buzzer went. 26 shots and six goals. Yeah, that is awful on TJ's part. I can't even really blame our team that much. 24 and two. Yeah, honestly, most of it falls on me. And this Afenisenkov character is apparently the greatest player in the world. We have a Connor McDavid 2.0. I really didn't see this coming. I thought it was gonna be a much closer series, but we are getting ragdolled out there. Yeah, I know, okay? It's gonna be hard to win. It sure will, but I'll give you the generic team answer anyway, so I can get out of here. Thank you for allowing me to choose Diplomatic. Well, this could be it. This could be TJ's final game. You know what, let's do a real time sim. Times eight, give them a power play right off the bat. Things you love to see. Not that. Absolutely not. Power play for Colorado. I do like that though, even though we don't capitalize. Another power play. Doubling them in shots right now, not a big deal. They are really bringing it back. It looks like it's gonna be a scoreless first period. No, it's not. Brady gets on the board, a boy. Let's enter period number two, another power play for the Blues and another kill for the Colorado Avalanche, but is gonna bury one and tie it up at one. We are now halfway through this game. Outshot now by the St. Louis Blues. What a turn of events, how the turntables. Will we have a 1-1 game? No, we do not. We have a 2-1 game because Clayton Keller is clutching up. I would like to point out that they have a 70 overall player somewhere in their lineup with one ability. And we are still getting wrecked. Let's get one more goal. The insurance marker would be huge right now. I know their goalie has been standing on his head in this series, so it's not going to be an easy task. But the lads are kind of buzzing right now, so maybe we could get it done. Pavel's in, loses it right away, Turbo there to pick it up. We do look like a totally different team this game already. This ain't the Colorado Avalanche I've been seeing. Holy, that player came flying in. Good thing I got rid of it quick. But Landy gets trapped, oh no. Good job, Fabro, helping him out. Landy did not return the favor though. Thankfully, that was an awful shot. Went nowhere near the net. Okay, we need to get this thing out of the zone immediately. Landy walks out and then spins away from the net. Bold strategy. But let's see if it pays off here. Vrana has it in the slot, goes for one, and that will be blocked. Again, we're trying to get to the front of the net and we do not succeed. This win would be huge. This is the one brick we need. The foundation and the reverse sweep is alive and well. Barbashev's in, goes for a deke. The one touch, they do love those. Nothing comes of it though. Clayton Keller across the ice to Fabro, over to Walker who gives it up in the slot. What are we doing? Big save on Debrusk. Battle in the corner. Puck goes to the St. Louis defenseman. Is he gonna go across the ice? Oh my word. I was ready for the one-timer, but also would not have been able to react fast enough if he did in fact pass it. Deflected aside from the point shot. Turbo with it. And he gets it a oh, sigh of relief. What is this goalie? Can we ask him to chill, please? I would say that's a reasonable request. Just chill out a little bit. That's all I'm asking here. And maybe he'll listen. What a save. Huge. DeBrusque in the middle. I don't know what to tell you, but to be honest, it could be a whole lot worse without TJ right now. Breakaway. Landy, don't you dare turn back. Make something happen. He made something happen, all right. Barry's in top shelf, the game's even confused. Went right to a cutscene, what is that celebration? Who does that? He's just sitting there with his hands up and everyone... 
Oh, this game kills me. Anyway, uh, we have the insurance marker. Colorado lives to see another day. I would say that's an extravagantly hot take considering there is still seven minutes left, but I'm just that confident. We've got it on lock. No problemo. So... I don't know what happened there. Maybe it went off the goalie's blocker and in the net? Okay, hopefully this will show us a half-decent camera angle. Thanks for that. That was splendid. I could see the whole thing crystal clear. Questions answered. All right, let's zoom in on this puck here and maybe do a little bit up. Yep, yeah, and try to get some slow-mo action going. Yeah, that's not that slow. Okay, just, yep, went under the arm. I love how this goalie went from being a legitimate brick wall to being Swiss cheese in a matter of minutes. I also just realized that I never even thought to fight the guy. I gotta go take him out. That would do wonders for our team. Put it in. Yes, I'm going for the goal. You better believe it. Playoff goal, TJ. Because he's gonna come in. No, he's gonna come after me. Get out of here. All right, nice. And, and, come on, fight me. Yes! <laughs> yes, it finally happened. We got it. Let's go. That is massive too easy it look at the players following me too <laughs> this game never ceases to amaze me it's so confused it doesn't know what's going on oh yeah they do know what's happening it's just the shortest lived celebration ever i thought he was gonna save this but we got to him just on time Woo! i was convinced we were never gonna get it i really thought that tj was Gonna go the full career, no goals, and we clutched it out last minute. I mean, to be fair, like I said, the reverse sweep is still alive and well. So, we're going for the long run here. Alright, we are in it. But, I would still say, as a whole, this was last second. Pretty much a buzzer beater. If anything can spark a reverse sweep mentality, that was it. I cannot speak to you about how huge that was nice save tip it now he wants to have a go at it save that as well pass it out to mori i kind of forgot we had him and this is on net too still haven't actually fought their goalie just realized that maybe i'll save that for next game tip it goes for a low one and that will be blocked by the defender 15 seconds to go Great game from the Colorado Avalanche. That is exactly what we needed to give ourselves a chance. Get one more. Nice try, Hartman. They even pulled their goalie. Amazing. There you go. 31 shots for the St. Louis Blues and a measly one goal. Whereas we had 29 shots and five. What a bounce back performance. We're still down bad. Don't get me wrong, okay? Not in a good spot. All I'm saying is that there's hope. Look at the lads. They're all fired up. Things you love to see. And it's not all green. Team play is not quite there, which is shocking because I did kind of score a goal, which I guess isn't really team playing. But anyway, 967 save percentage. Is that any good? Yes, it is, by the way. Another press conference. They just love speaking to Timothy, eh? What do you got for me this time? How confident are you that you can get this series turned around in your favor? Well... All we gotta do is just get pucks deep. I'm really gassed that they're allowing me to choose diplomatic, but it doesn't seem to be cutting down the amount of cutscenes anyway. A promise is a guaranteed plus one meeting, but diplomatic, not so much. And as we do, let's have a look at the stats to see how our team is performing so far in the playoffs. That 3-1 is very intimidating, but Verona, Shifley, and Nuge all point a game right now. So they had their guy, Brady. Has two points, same with Gord, and basically the rest of the team by the looks of it. I am certainly no angel. I am not innocent in this series. An 877 save percentage, 375 GAA. Those numbers are foul and putrid, and I am appalled. I will show you the playoff tree just because why not? The Islanders and New Jersey are done. But other than that, every series is still going, and there are three series that could end next game, and we are one of them. Well, here's hoping that we can bounce back, have the reverse sweep come to life, but we'll have to wait and find out. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate you, and I will see you soon.